Hello. Uh, do I need to enable a video somehow? Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Hello. Uh, I'm Andrei. Uh, I'm from Moscow, Russia, and I'm building ASI, a mobile app for building simple websites. Creating a website is easier than ever. There are hundreds of no-code tools. There is just one problem. They're uh, all on desktop. And more than a half of users access internet only on their smartphone. With AirSight, anyone can build a website right on their mobile phone or tablet. And let me show you how easy it is. Uh, you can pick from a number of templates or start with an empty page. Then tap, type a name of your website. Uh, hosting on AirSight subdomain is free. You can add sections one by one. Headings, forms, gallery, and other. You can also add individual buttons, images, text blocks. Then you can customize any block on your website, uh, just size, uh, font, colors, shapes, etc. As soon as you hit save, your website is live. You can visit this one uh, at pioneer.airsite.com. Uh, so here is a small sample of websites built with Airsite, uh, a cafe in Rome, Discord bot, small motel, an, on uh, an online store selling children toys. I applied to Pioneer uh, with just a basic prototype nine months ago. Today, there are almost 20,000 websites built with AirSight, and they are visited by tens of thousands of people. To recap, AirSight is a mobile app for building websites, growing quickly. Next steps are building support for selling things online, more embedded templates and blogs, and we're also raising a seed round. Thank you. Cool. Uh, one super minor piece of feedback on that last page. You mentioned page views as a metric. Um, page views isn't a metric for you uh, because uh, the success of your users and getting people to their website does not actually drive success of the business. The thing is, the thing that probably drives success of the business is uh, signing up more people to create websites and having those, uh, their use of those websites stick over time and successfully charging them money. Um, the mm -hmm. page views is sort of called a vanity metric. And uh, investors in particular, when you raise the seed round are extremely sensitive to the inclusion of vanity metrics because they assume that if you put in a vanity metric that looks good, it means the metrics that actually matter probably don't look good. Um, so if you have good metrics, okay. lead with good metrics. Um, uh, I like the idea here. I think you need a crisp articulation of who in the world both needs a website and does not have a desktop computer. And I think that articulation is probably SMBs who uh, like, uh, spend substantially all of the day at the uh, their retail establishment or whatever, uh, don't have a computer, the computer is used for the register, et cetera, et cetera, don't have time to be uh, doing it, uh, but do have a, uh, you know, two hands on a phone substantially all the time that they are not using a, uh, uh, not directly interacting with the customer. And the pushback that you're going to get uh, is, what is the purpose of a website to that person? And isn't that purpose better served by a social network page? Like, can't they, you know, uh, create more commerce through Instagram, which gets them built in distribution versus the website. So my question to you, what is the purpose of the website to that person? How does that like solve distribution yeah. goals for them in a way that Instagram yeah. or a Facebook page does not? Yeah, great question. Uh, I guess for, for, for those people, the, the website kind of serves the, like the additional marketing and like uh, kind of having a, a more, uh, more presentable view for, for people visiting them on the web and, and, and like, Kind of looking, looking be, uh, just ju just making the business look better in the eyes of their customers. There is also, I think, the the big uh, like ch chunk of people who uh, don't have access uh, to 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 desktop but sell things online, and uh, they they currently do it on Instagram and uh, kind of like just receiving messages and things like that. And all, uh, like ser serving th them is probably uh, would be a, a big part of the business as well. So uh, I would say uh, that there are like. Uh, th there are some people who don't, uh, basically like a lot of people in developing countries who don't have access uh, to the desktop, but basically doing business on the internet and receive orders and kind of like uh, want to want to have a website. Mm -hmm. Cool. I have a bracing question for you and it's for essentially everybody building something. And this is not meant to discourage you at all. This is just to like keep us all honest. Um, if you had an evil twin, and your evil twin had all the skills you do, all the ambition you, uh, you do, et cetera, et cetera. And your evil twin was a product manager at Facebook or Shopify. Would that evil twin be more effective at creating value in this business than, than you will be? And if not, why not? Uh, good question. Yeah. Um, um, 
I'd say like, the, the, uh, yeah, resources ma- matter a lot. If you, if you're talking about that, like just just having all the resources of, of Facebook or Shopify to build some, some something like that and kind of like offer it to the, the whole audience they already have. I guess that the, the, there is definitely a, like a, a big plus for for the, for the evil queen. Uh, I guess uh, f- for me it's. Uh, it, Maybe the, the how how small it is right now, and uh, and just working with with like few few people who who are using it right now, and kind of use it for for their weird uh, kind of small uh, niche uh, things, might provide some value. I, and, yeah, I think okay. we're uh, closing to the end. I would uh, encourage you to think very hard on like what the distribution for these things looks like, and how you can overcome your standards like a Facebook or Shopify has, but. Excited to see this um, and I love the user experience of it. Thank you. Thanks.